Welcome back. Letting children play games on your iPad or iPhone could cost you more than you bargained for. Amy Kelly reports those using play money to make virtual purchases have later found out that the shopping was real and really expensive. In just 15 minutes playing on her brother's iPad, Holly Jones managed to rack up a $275 charge on her parents' credit card. I was quite shocked. I thought, you know, how can that be within a children's game? The games themselves were free to download, but Holly then stocked up on virtual items, known as gems in a game called Bakery Story, or Smurf Berries in a game called Smurf's Village. They're tokens that speed up gameplay, but can cost up to $125 a pop, charged to a credit card through the iTunes billing system. It's in the fine print, but 10-year-old Holly was confused. It's just in this cartoon font and everything else is cartoon money. Now, in most cases, such a purchase would require the player's iTunes password. But there's a loophole. If for some reason someone's already entered the password in the last 15 minutes, the prompt won't reappear. So if, like Holly's mum, you've downloaded a game for the kids and hand the iPad straight over, they've got 15 minutes to buy up big. Internet forums are full of comments from families caught out. The developers of Bakery Story defend purchases within games, telling One News... We have a specific pop-up dialogue box explaining that consumers are going to purchase an item along with the associated price to give people a second chance to avoid accidental purchases. Apple simply points out that parents can prevent them altogether in their device's settings application. It has also refunded the Jones family their money. That's good, but it, it was quite stressful and people and the children could have spent an awful lot more. Like it was quite easy, in 15 minutes it's double click click. Jerry Jones hopes it's a lesson to others. Amy Kelly, One News.